Former CIA Director John Brennan, who now works for MSNBC, is predicting that the Mueller report is going to come out today. Um, as we're coming up to two years, so I think he does want to conclude that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, for example, this week on Friday, not knowing anything about it, but Friday is the day that the grand jury indictments come down. And also this Friday is better than next Friday because next Friday is the 15th of March, which is the Ides of March. And I don't think Robert Mueller will want to have that dramatic uh, flair of the Ides of March when he is going to be delivering what I think are going to be his indictments, the final indictments, as well as the report that he gives the attorney general. So you admit that you don't have any inside knowledge and you're doing what the fake news always does, just making this up as you go along. Now he could be correct because a broken clock is right twice a day. And for six months, the Democrats have been saying Mueller's almost ready to release his findings. This is from back in October, five months ago. Mueller will release the Trump-Russia collusion obstruction of justice findings after the midterms. But when that didn't happen, the Democrats stayed at the edge of their seats. NBC News reported that Mueller may submit the report to the Attorney General as soon as mid-February. And about three weeks ago, they said that it was going to come the following week, but that too came and went. MSNBC is so excited that they had their graphics department create this animation depicting the Mueller storm heading into shore. Look, I'm from Florida, and what we've got here is the Washington equivalent of what happens when a Category 5 hurricane is forecasted to make landfall. There's the cone of projection. We're all expecting this Mueller storm to hit the White House and Trump Tower. But the Mueller models are all over the map. The Democratic models have a direct hit on the White House. In fact, some legal experts are modeling a once-in-a-century storm that makes landfall multiple times. The White House model has it staying at sea. And then there's even one model from Trump loyalists like Jim Jordan that has it somehow totally making an unexpected turn over Hillary Clinton's house. Well, if you're gonna have a 24 hour fake news network, I guess you gotta come up with something to fill that time. And speaking of time, Time Magazine is trying to brace Democrats for the Mueller report's eventual release in the event that it's actually honest and reveals that there's no collusion. Why the Mueller report might disappoint almost everyone, they say. After endless hype, special counsel Robert Mueller may be about to submit his report. It is impossible to know what his conclusions will be, but after so much speculation, one outcome seems likely. Mueller will disappoint just about everyone, especially President Trump's critics, and it won't be his fault. This is due in part to Trump's successful disinformation crusade, which has worked to raise a nearly impossible and definitely illogical bar for Mueller to clear. Proving collusion and charging a grand jury criminal conspiracy involving the Trump campaign and the Russian government. It's President Trump's fault that the Democrats are going to be disappointed in the report if it says there's no collusion. But don't worry, lunatics, because even if Robert Mueller finds no collusion, the Democrats have promised to keep on searching. As for the Russia report, many legal experts say just because Robert Mueller is winding down does not mean the investigating stops with federal prosecutors in Manhattan and elsewhere expected to follow up on pieces of the investigation. Now, the president's legal team fully expects Mr. Trump to be cleared in all this, though the cases related to the underlying Russia investigation quite obviously will continue. If congressional Democrats are dissatisfied with what Barr submits, they could choose to subpoena the special counsel to testify. How much you want to bet if Robert Mueller admits there's no collusion that the Democrats are going to start accusing him of being part of the plot and the cover-up? Mueller's been in on it this whole time. We should have known. What's strange is the Washington Post has already listed the Mueller report for sale on Amazon.com and is accepting pre-orders and has it listed at 720 pages in paperback. And they have the release date listed as March 26th, so we'll have to see what happens. Meanwhile, President Trump's approval ratings continue to climb because thankfully millions of Americans are able to see through this charade. But we gotta keep praying for this president and for the country because I wouldn't be surprised if Robert Mueller carefully crafts a conspiracy in his report that claims that the Trump campaign unknowingly colluded with the Russians, but were willing dupes of a foreign power, and then committed obstruction of justice in order to prevent it from being discovered. But so far, everything the enemy's thrown in his path hoping to be a stumbling block has only turned into a stepping stone. And that's why I released my Trump is Growing Stronger shirt, which you can order from my online store, markdice.com, or click the link in the description below. Like all of my shirts, it's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, 
and a whole bunch of different colors as well. And don't forget that I'm an author too. I'm sure you love my new book, Liberalism, Find a Cure, or The True Story of Fake News. Available in paperback on Amazon.com or download the ebooks from all the major ebook stores.